Hello, I am Dr. PPP. I am the celebrity guru. I am the marathon man. I am the celebrity guru, award winning author of the book, You Are the Celebrity. I am also the author of the upcoming book, Dynamo Diaries, Volume 3. I am super excited. Yes, I am super excited to present to you all the way from Aurelia, Canada, none other than Robert J. Moore. Yes, Robert is the better way international award-winning author. Yes. So, are you ready? I am ready. Robert is ready. Robert, how are you? I'm well, thanks. How are you? I'm very well too and I'm so excited. So, could you, you are the international award-winning author. So, what's your book about and uh, can you explain the title to my celebrity viewer, please? Well, the title was uh, From Rock Bottom to Success. And the reason why it was named that is because I was at Rock Bottom years ago. So what happened was uh, I was addicted to drugs and alcohol. Being addic addicted to drugs and alcohol back then, I couldn't identify how I felt. I was always lost. I was lonely. I was always in the suburb of another drink and another. It was took over my life. When that took over my life, I lost my way. So I didn't know what to do. So I was, I, I went in and out of jail for 16 years, um, lived on the streets for seven years. And it wasn't until one day I had epiphany. When I had that epiphany, it was, it, was, it, it was time. I don't know what it was, but it was time to move on. So I decided to move on. I got clean and sober. Today I'm over 11 years clean and sober. Um, and then I got educated, so and I wrote the book at the same time. Wow, 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 that's amazing! What a story! Oh my gosh, from drugs and alcohol, and uh, it was just uh, 360 degrees. Wow, so how did it, you make it happen? How, how did it happen? Yes, I like I was saying, I, I was in the bush one day, I had a case of beer, I was sitting on a case of beer. And then all of a sudden it was like, I don't want this no more, right? I, I, I can't do it. And then it, I decided to put myself in Brampton Detox. And ever since I was in there, I ended up coming up to Seven Cell Treatment Center in Aurelia. And I enjoyed learning. So when I started learning, it was like, wow. That's when I started going to uh, the college. I went to, got my grade 12 first, but then went to college, the Georgian College up there, Aurelia. I got my social service worker diploma, and then I got at McMaster University. I've got my addictions degree, and then I went to BA in psychology through Lakehead University. In Athabasca, I did my master's in counseling psychology. Wow. Wow. I'm blown away by with your story and of course the same thing with my celebrity viewer also. They are blown away with your story. So if Robert can do it, Robert can do it, you can, so can you too, right? What do you say? Oh yeah. So Absolutely. I wrote yes. my first book. I wrote my first book and, and it didn't go nowhere. So I, then I wrote a second one. And then I was listening to Jack Canfield because I took his course, right? And mm -hmm. he says in the course if you're not happy, then it's time to change something. So what I did was I, I, I decided, okay, I'm just going to put everything on hold. I kind of went for a shower. Now. I need to write a book that's going to hit top. So that's what I, I did. I come out to the other room and I start, I start typing that and I got the, the name from Rock Bottom to Success. This book I, I sent it out November 30th. I published it. December 3rd, I hit number one in Canada. And then I, then I, uh, on March, I, I just came back from in March there, March 30th, 28th and 29th, I received international award for my book. Wow. Congratulations. Congratulations from rock bottom to success and international award-winning author. That's amazing, amazing. Uh, what kind of services are you offering, Robert? 
Well, today I do coaching. I do a lot of coaching with uh, people. I'm just putting together a 21-day transformation. Um, it's called The Better Way. And what that is, I'll tell you what the uh, my what I really do in that is I like to – I intend to power others, take control of their emotions so that I can definitely manifest more happiness throughout their days in their life by identifying, balancing their emotions. When they balance their emotions, they feel a lot better. When people balance their emotions, they feel more power. They feel like they can achieve things. They feel like they can do better in life. They feel they manifest just more, more and more all the time. I see. I see. Wow. 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 Yes. Also, you have so much knowledge about psychology, right? So how uh, did uh, your interest for psychology happen and what kind of uh, clients did you help? Well, the thing is right now, I'm a registered uh, psychotherapist, right? Um, I'm registered with the Canadian, Canadian Counseling and Psychotherapy Association. I'm also registered as addiction counselor. But um, I'm doing more of the mental health side because I want to deal with the behaviors behind things. So I, like, I love dealing with the behaviors when people are stuck with their behavior and their emotions. Um, you ever see what Tony Robbins does out there with everybody? I do that kind of stuff um, right on the spot. I help people out because I've learned how to identify body language, facial expressions, and I've learned how to identify ways of helping people on, on the spare of the moment. So I'm really good at crises. Oh, wow, you, mean, you mentioned about Tony Robbins. Yes, uh, I've met him three times and uh, he has amazing, uh, I, you know, amazing breakthrough with uh, his clients. And uh, you are doing, of, of course, same thing. Wow, hats off to you. I'm doing pretty much the same stuff, um, at, but I'm, I'm also offering, when I, I'm putting it together soon, I'm going to be doing, I uh, put together my uh, 21 day transformation, the better way. And that's going to be really soon. So keep an eye on my Facebook and you'll be able to see that. Wow, wow, my celebrity viewer and I cannot wait to, you know, get your program and information about 21 days of transformation. Wow, wow. Yeah. So I think it's going to help transfer people. Transfer. Yes. So give us a little bit of glimpse about what kind of transformation are you offering? A little bit, not much. Pardon me? Uh, what kind of transformation uh, are you going to offer in 21 days? Well, in 21 days, people are going to learn and identify their emotions, mm -hmm. right? Um, it starts off starts off with the, the top 10. The top 10 days is basically they talk about the negative stuff. And then because you want to get in deep, you want to get in deep about different things, about sleep habits, about different uh, onwards and upwards, about different things that are happening in life. Basically, any any emotion that's holding you back, I can help you break through them. Like uh, Resentments. Resentments is one of the hardest things people have a problem with. Um, I've helped so many people. Personally, I've helped about 30,000 people in my last 10 years with all the emotions I've been dealing with. So wow. that's a lot of people. Yes, yes, absolutely. 30,000 people. Wow. wow. Now tell me about uh, anger, Some how my viewer or somebody can... Uh, you know, manage the anger. Well, anger, anger is uh, something I used to have all the time. Okay. Um, I, I'm starting to do a, a nighttime ritual where people can actually sit down before they go to bed and they get a better sleep. Um, they, they learn to identify the different emotions. They, they sit back and they, they go deep in themselves and they try and find out where that anger come from, where that, where that, uh, you know, um, misdirect anger come from because first of all when we have anger we're not mad at the other people we're mad within ourselves i used to be a really really angry person for a lot of years and this is why i touch a lot on emotions because emotions is what brought me here today dealing with my emotions i had to strip my emotions one by one make them raw when you make them raw you learn how to identify them afterwards but you have to know the proper way and that's where I come in. I, I've learned the proper way of dealing with these things. Wow, you need guts to see that like, you know, I have so much anger and now like, you know, 
I learned and you and you're helping out. Wow, wow. Yeah. What kind of other emotions uh, uh, people can manage through your uh, services? How can they manage my services? So like which kind of emotions, other emotions, let's say sad or grief, grief or uh, that, yes. I've, I've invented, I've invented the uh, EBO system. What that is, is emotions, behavior and outcomes. Okay, all them together, the emotions we feel. It doesn't matter which emotion it is that like you're, you're talking, you're asking me which emotion I help people with, it doesn't matter. It's what intrigues them, what, what is bothering them, what's holding them back. When I get the emotion out of them and I learn what emotions holding them back, I can help them with that emotion part of it. Now the behavior part, the behavior part is how we react, right? So now it's how we act and how we react. The outcome part is how the total outcome is, just like that, outcome, right? So it's on the outcome of what we deal with. But the behavior is most important because it's how people perceive us. It's how we perceive ourselves. That's how we are to, to uh, an emotion. Yes, I totally agree with that. I totally agree with that. And uh, it said uh, emotion, behavior, and outcome. Wow, wow. <laughs> EBO, EBO system. EBO system, EBO system. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah. So 30,000, um, you help out, right? So out of those 30,000, like, Tell like one of the like biggest breakthrough you have done to your client without mentioning their name and their personal information. I've had I've had a, a guy um, did a lot of years in jail. He come out and he was one of the angriest people I've ever seen in my life. He didn't think he had a hope at all of getting better. I think with Peak. The guy had a step in a, had another step, like the pep in his feet. He he was starting to move a lot differently. He was starting to move a lot more comfortably. He was starting to believe in things. And uh, I had to break through that barrier. I had to put that trust. He had to put that trust out for each other and build a rapport with each other. Once I built that rapport and I was able to break that ice with him, the guy today is one of the happiest guys I've ever seen. And you know what? I personally seen the guy lift the desk up, throw it across the room. And he was so angry. Oh my God. Oh my God. Wow. <laughs> yes. So tell me about your book. Uh, you said from rock bottom to success. So who did write the forward for the book and uh, what's inside? Uh, and how can I, my celebrity viewer, can get your book? Oh, well, five different distribution centers online. Um, this is the book right here, From Rock Bond to Success. And the forward in it actually was really kind of neat because I wrote my first book, There's More to Life, years ago in 2011. What happened there was that book became number three, but when it became number three, I had another guy come up to me and he says, Robert, I'd like to write a book too. And I and and when he said I like to write a book, he says, "But I want your help." He says, "You you you're doing well. I like that." So I said, "No problem. I can help you." And I never helped anybody at that time write a book. I just helped myself. So I really I was really new to it. Well, the person the person that actually did do it, I helped him out. He made number one. He made wow. number one in Canada, and and. He was grateful for that. And then we both started taking Jack Canfield course. Well, he did the one that's in class. I did the one online with him. And because I thought I really wanted to do at the time. And next thing you know, I, when he was doing the one with Jack Canfield up front, I guess they become acquainted and they start working with each other. So then next thing you know, he comes to me on my third book. He goes, because my second book didn't really go anywhere, and I just wanted to change the title. And I, I took about 40% of that book, and I made it into the third one. So here's what happened with the third one. He came up, and he says, Robert, I'll do a forward for you. And and this guy's name is Forrest Willett. I mean, what a beautiful man. He, uh, because of him helping me out and guiding me, I was the teacher before. He was the student. 
Now I became the student. He became the, uh, the teacher. It was kind of <laughs> nice. <laughs> wow. Wow. So then my book became number one, and then it became from there, right? Yes, I can I can feel the pride in you, you know, having your book, you know, an international, uh, you know, award-winning author. That's amazing. That's so nice what's, what's inside the book? Could you give a bit about inside of your book? Well, basically, it's my life history. It's my whole life history. I mean, it's all, this, all the turbulations I went through. All, like, now, what the thing is about my book, it's not just about my life. Oh, I went to jail and I did this. Poor me, poor me. No, it's not like that. I wrote it because I have a lot of psychology behind me. Here's where here's where the EBO came from. I wrote it with a lot of emotions. So when someone's reading my book, they're going to know what I went through because I put the emotion of what I went through when I was going through it in my book. So, for instance, when I said I went to jail, I told them how I felt walking in, how how things were dealing, how how just all the emotions that went across it. Or when I went to detox to get uh, well, I talked about having the sweats and, and what was going on with my body. So it allows me to elaborate. Um, another thing I also want to say is uh, I got one page in there of all awards. I never thought anything about these awards. I just wanted to give back to the community at the time that saved my life because they, they allowed me to be in their town and act the way I was, but to get better later on. So it took me a couple months to actually clear my thoughts. And when I did, I started volunteering. Today, I ended up having a uh, citizen of the year I was nominated for, uh, Order of Arroyo Award I was nominated for. I won the Lieutenant Governors up here. I've won the uh, making it making a difference. I established two wards, one at Lakehead, one at Georgian College. I made history doing that because no other student did that while going to school. So I had bake sales and uh, yard sales and everything to, to fund it to help others out. Wow, wow. There is something magic when you write the book and publish the book, magic happens. Even before even, you know, you write the book, you know, you just announce that I, you are the author of the upcoming book, magic happens. So my celebrity viewer, if you never read the book, please do write because I know you have several books, not one, several books within you, yes. And if you already wrote the book, write one more, write one more because out of 7.5 billion people, there are lots and lots of people waiting for your book. Yes, what do you say about that? Got lots. Of, you know what? Everybody has a book inside them. You know, it's it's how they know how to write it to tell people their story because everybody has a story. You know, it, it's really weird. They say you will hear your story if you wait long enough from someone else. I went to London, England. And here's a guy on stage talking my story. I had to hear my own story for the first time in my life. I thought, wow, that's amazing. It's absolutely amazing. Yes, it is absolutely amazing. I got goosebumps, you know, when you're talking about right now. Wow, man, what an incredible story, life story. And uh, Wow, wow, I'm totally amazed, Robert, right? You are amazing, Robert. Your mission is amazing. Your purpose is amazing. And uh, I know really, 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 I'm blessed to have you. So tell me the three miracles you got because of the book. My, uh, pardon me, I couldn't hear you there. Okay, Robert, could you share the three miracles you have got because of you wrote the book or the three the miracles book. I've got the three miracles I've got to be honest with you um the one was in touch with myself again that's one of the biggest miracles I became within I got to learn my why now that I I got to learn my why the doors are wide open you know the second miracle I can honestly say I have is the fact that I became a motivational speaker. I go around and overcome that shyness, overcome the the person I used to be. So now I don't have to be that person anymore. I don't have to pretend anything. I have to just be me. That's the best part of that. And the other miracle is 
the fact that my book became number one best-selling author and international. That is a miracle on its own because you know what? My story has touched so many people's lives and so many people have come to me for either addiction counseling, mental health, or they want to help with their emotions. They want to be best intact or, you know, they, they, they don't know where to go. So they just come to me and I, I walk them through processes. And you know what? You walk away with a good step in there, you know, and they're pepping their step. <laughs> Wow, wow, wow. Very, very emotional, very, very powerful story. Very powerful story. Tell me about your speaking ability. Like um, one of the or two of three, two of the miracles you have got during speaking. Well, a lot of times when I go, go out do speaking, um, I touch on uh, the heart. I touch on what I, what I feel in my life is uh, the raw part of my life. I want people to understand that I've been through things in my life, but they don't have to go through that stuff. You know, speaking of speaking, of speaking it's my understanding. You and I will be competing soon. <laughs> <laughs> I love that healthy competition because your purpose and my purpose is, you know, making more than the dent in the universe to help uh, out of 7.5 billion people. Yes, yes, I, absolutely. I love empowering people. I love empowering people. <laughs> If I could see a person smile, check this out. If I could see a person smile for that first time again, they may not have smiled for 20 years internally. So now if they've got that one perfect smile coming out, you could smile all you want, but you can't be angry at the same time smiling. You know what I mean? Because you got your muscles in your head. You know? You got your muscles in that face area in the head. <laughs> Yes, yes, yes. And uh, see, you need very few muscles to smile, but lots and lots of muscles you need to frown, right? So why not smile? Why not smile? And absolutely, I love it. You cannot smile and frown or cannot smile and angry at the same time. Absolutely. I love it. Wow. <laughs> You're amazing. <laughs> oh, wow. So where do you see five years from now? Five years from now, honestly, I'm doing things online that you know, I can do motivational speak and I can go to there, do workshops. But at the same time, I am going to put my stuff online. People can actually just click it. It'll be all videos. Um, and that's actually coming within the next few months, not five years. But I want to do not just the EBO system with uh, the emotions, behavior, and outcomes with all the all the uh, different emotions. I'm going to do a, a separate one on the side probably for anger management and nighttime ritual and a few other ones, because I think a lot of people be getting me feedback and anxiety at night. They're struggling with anger or frustration, and they don't, they don't want to go to bed angry. Well, they don't have to. You know, all they have to do is do a little ritual that I'm going to walk people through, and they, they can go to bed a little happier. Even if they're still frustrated with the other person, they don't have to go to bed angry. All they have to do is agree they'll talk about it later, and that soothes the mind. Wow. You live close by Aurelia and there is a huge casino, Casino Rama. So now that comes to thought comes to my mind. What are your advices for the people who are addicted to gambling or addicted to social media? Like, what's your advice for that? Um, you know, I, I do. I see a lot of people that are in the Casino Rama and they do. Uh, they do a lot of gambling, but I, it's not my forte of gambling. Uh, when I do addictions, it's drug, drugs and alcohol, but I'm not really doing so much of that stuff anymore. I'm doing more of the mental health stuff that people are, are engaged in, how they feel. Um, not not the stuff that you have to go see the doctor for, because I'm not a doctor. I'm a psychotherapist. There's a difference. A lot of people don't know that. Um, I, I don't do with schizophrenia. I don't do with the bipolar medications. I help them deal, overcome their pinpoints of bipolar and schizophrenia. That's not a problem. Because uh, once, they, once they learn how to identify... Um, their, their pinpoints activates it, right? A lot of people don't know what activates it. So um, say bipolar, you can get in the manic or you can get in the depression. What, what actually puts you in the depression? Let's go back to what actually puts you there. It's like anxiety. A lot of people think anxiety is actually a disease. It's not. It's man-made. We make up anxiety ourselves in our body. Yes, yes, absolutely. And um, 
whole body is all the organs are powerful but mind is like you know 21000 trillion calculations per second that's just strength of your mind 21000 trillion calculations per second wow yeah. and average thoughts in a day is like 60000 thoughts wow so what's your thoughts what's your thoughts what's you know i tell people today i'm intoxicated off my own exuberance of verbosity which only means high on life and people will look at me and say pardon me what did you just say i'm just saying i'm i'm high on life you know i love life today wow i love it i'm high on life oh my gosh oh my gosh there are lots and lots of things take away but oh my god high on life <laughs> it's blew my mind it's blew my mind so my celebrity viewer are you high on life take it from robert man robert said be high on life wow wow oh my gosh oh my gosh tell me tell me more about that tell me more about uh, this kind of your uh, one liners man i love it i love it oh, when you're looking at when you're looking at yourself in the mirror that's really the only person we need to impress um a lot of people think well we have to wear all these different hats why who are you really impressing why we have to wear another hat is because we're trying to image something else we don't have to image nobody look in the mirror that's the only person you have to be happy with right so a lot of people don't realize looking at themselves in the in the mirror and say you are well and worthy they won't do it cuz they're not happy with themselves i never used to be happy with myself i could look myself in the mirror and say you know what you are well and worthy and i love you today buddy you know i love what you're doing i love empowering people these people are are engaging in their own self getting out of resistance getting out they come in the identity they used to have now becoming someone new so they're overcoming those obstacles to be a better person wow all because all because, all because they're willing this to change they're manifesting different things wow look at the front of camera and look at you and you know you compete with you wow don't wear any masks amazing insight amazing wow you're fabulous robert you're fabulous thank you so robert uh, we are towards the end of the show so what are the advice final final words would you like to share from your heart to my celebrity viewers heart well you know what when you're when you're feeling different pains you're feeling different emotions try and sit back and wonder what those emotions are all about Um, if you happen to be at night time, you want to go to bed, you want to relax, and you got anxiety, or you got depression, or maybe you're just feeling anger or resentments. Try and sit back. Let's go right back. Get a quiet spot in the house. Put the YouTube on. Put some music on. Nice calm stuff. And say and say to yourself, okay, where did this feeling begin? Take it back to where it actually began and find out why it started. I can walk you through that. because what what is going on with that is we get to learn the interior peace when we do this learning the interior peace brings out the best in us we now we can utilize our skills in a proper way we can't do it when we have blockage of emotions so we have to identify them absolutely absolutely where can my celebrity of your find you Where can you find me? Yes. You go Robert J Moore on uh, Facebook, right? You can always find me through you. You know that. <laughs> <laughs> you always find me through you. And like my book again, it's on twenty-five thousand different distribution centers, from rock bottom to success. Robert J Moore. Um, I'm going to be putting website together, and it's called uh, LearnTheBetterWay.com. It's going to be put together soon, and go from there. Thanks Jessica. <laughs> <laughs> yes Jessica and there are lots of you are they joined uh, us I appreciate you hey Helen and Jessica is running also amazing uh, uh, fitness club 
and uh, wow, wow wow there are lots of other viewers too so i appreciate your presence my celebrity viewer yes believe in your wildest dreams don't let anybody steal your dreams just do it now if trump can win so can you you are the celebrity we have the celebrity day you have the celebrity life again thank you so much robert for an amazing time sharing for your wisdom and thank I'm glad you for having me i appreciate it. <laughs> cheers cheers